So here is a rundown on some of our national and international news for this Thursday morning. First of all, I don't know if you heard about it, but earlier in the week, I think it was on Sunday, the U.S. Navy fired what they're calling warning shots at Iranian patrol boats who got too close too quickly. I feel like we're right on the precipice of something else happening here between the United States and Iran, just as something is happening between the United States and Russia with all the military buildup in Europe. Trump was apparently informed that the Russians had something to blackmail him with. This is kind of a, a very convoluted story. You've probably heard something about it. It's been on all over Twitter, golden showers and whatever. Basically, what it came down to is the least I've heard is that it was a story that was originated at 4chan, which was fake. It was a it, it was fake to begin with. But that fake story then was leaked to somebody else who then took it to John McCain, who then took it to the intelligence community, who then released it to the public through other media sources. And then CNN started saying that the Russians had stuff to blackmail Donald Trump with. Is Vestia, the Russian newspaper, reporting on that? And then it's coming out, of course, from reportuk.org that 4chan has claimed that they made up the whole story just to prove a point. There are some other points that should be made today. One is that the U.S. Senate is continuing to pursue more sanctions against Russia to try to isolate them just like they've tried to isolate North Korea. Also, more questions on whether North Korea is even capable of sending missiles. And now it, it seems to be a pretty much acknowledged fact that they can. And the question now is how to stop them. I have some reports from here, some Al Jazeera about elections in Gambia being challenged. And originally, the, the person who lost the, in, the sitting president had said, well, okay, I'll abide by the results. And then when they came through that he lost, he was like, no, 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 I challenged those. Uh, it's not clear at this point. Uh, right now, his challenge to the election has been postponed. Dylan Roof, the guy who murdered nine church black, black church members, uh, he's been sentenced to death. And if you know who Robert F. Kennedy was, his son, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., has gotten a name for himself as being a skeptic of vaccines. He's now been asked by President-elect Donald Trump to lead a safety study of vaccines, and some people are crying foul because he has expressed doubt as to whether or not vaccines work. I thought that's the way science was supposed to work. Y you don't come to something with this is my truth and I will defend it to the end. You come to it saying, I am a skeptic. You prove to me that it works or doesn't work. Anyway, it should be interesting to see where it goes from here. The Chilean military has declassified a sensational video of what is apparently a UFO encounter. Well, that's part of the headlines. If you'll notice here on the website, I always give you all the references. And part of it is that during my 30-minute audio version, you can actually get more details of these stories. Plus, then you can go and check them out at the source themselves. Uh, in a format like this, where I'm trying to keep it down to under five minutes, you're not going to get the full story, but at least you're going to get some of the headlines that you're not going to get on the mainstream media, like the one that we mentioned earlier, how the whole story that CNN was reporting about the Russians blackmailing Trump was made up specifically to make a point. Anyway, you like what I'm doing? Consider supporting me. There are a couple of different ways you can do that. You can buy a direct subscription at Radio Free speech.com or you can become a sponsored patreon or you can become an advertiser as well details are there at the website send me an email hit me up for more steve at radiofreespeech.com and we'll talk to you soon